I am a poor wayfaring stranger I am traveling through this world of woe It's full of foreskins, whores and dragons And hollow dots in caves below or, in other words, I was a bit lost. No trenches here though, just a trench gun that I stole last time from the Nazi town mayor. After searching around, I eventually found where I probably should have gone before the Hall sisters and came across some hollows sitting around a bonfire. Apparently, this was the Azure Kirkyard. After saying good evening to these fine gentlemen and googling what Kirkyard means, I pressed on. In here there were some shadows, though no Cliff Richard. I was actually quite enjoying the movement at this point and kiting these evil beasties with a powerful ass shotgun was, not gonna lie, pretty fun. After dispatching the edgy shadow wolves, I proceeded to find a secret passage that had a section too high to jump to, even with the double jump. But I had a golden gun. Pretty sure this was a sequence break, but hey, golden gun, meet golden room. I pressed further on into the kirkyard and found another environment apparently called the Life Forge, with these two guards just chilling. And here's a switch. Yeah, no prizes for guessing what was going to happen when I hit the switch. I guess these guys are my dad because they seem to get irate when anyone leaves a switch on for more than one microsecond. But I'm the only daddy in this story. Golden guards meet golden gun. Through into the next gold room I found a waterfall. Perfect, I love a golden shower. And my buddy, the last lazy bones, was waiting for me next to it with his stiff demeanour. He told me this is the place where they crushed every human in the world to make the sword of life. So, you know, nothing interesting. He also told me that I was created in the same way and that what the masons had done was unforgivable. Cheery fellow, so glad we had this chat. The golden shower room had eight doors in total, minus the one I came from, so I had seven to explore. The first had a platforming section, which was pretty easy and led to a switch. Not sure what that did, but I'll find out soon. The second just had a couple of dead bodies and led to a pit of deadly blue water. I decided to move on. The third had, oh my god, a dragon again. Well, my new gold shotgun made quick work of him. Turns out he was guarding another switch. The fourth had a switch. That led to another switch. That led to the real switch. The fifth had another Golden Guardian who was guarding a glorious goodie. A dreidel? No, oh, no, my bad, don't be silly. It was a turnip that would help me see in the dark. The sixth had a labyrinthine crawl space behind a Minecraft block that eventually led me to the last switch. All four switches that I'd hit had now unlocked the seventh and final door. And behind that final door was... That's a cool boss design, not gonna lie. That head though, I mean, yeah, there's no way this video is ever getting monetized at this rate. Anyway, my old friends circle strafing and shotgun spamming got me the win first time. Me and my illuminating turnip quested onwards over a jumping challenge to the entranceway for a place called the Pond Temple. With my new dreidel powers I had plus three damage against Nazis, but this room was still pretty challenging, especially considering I hadn't found a save mason yet since defeating the Cock Centaur. 
After clearing them out, I found a pillar room with flames and the first reflective effect I'd seen in the whole game, which did look pretty dope. Still no save mason though, so I tracked all the way back to the last one, came back, found another max HP boost, and continued battling baddies. After a bit of slogging through bad guys, I found the aforepromised pond, but couldn't find a way onto the pontoon at the end. More Nazi orcs to dispatch, and a skeleton doing his best e-girl pose on the wall. Hmm. Nothing on the left side, probably same on the right side I thought, but I was wrong. With this acid suit, I can now go into the blue water without being killed. And hey, another embryonic battery. I now had more embryos in my possession than the dumpster behind Planned Parenthood. So, remember door number two earlier from the octagonal golden shower room? I decided to go check that out with my new acid suit. I found a long ass route that I honestly expected was gonna just take me back to the gray factory, but instead I popped out in this hidden library with a custodian who was totally ripping off my YouTube avatar. I paid for the copyright on that, you know. His name was Ceremian Baraxes, and he basically filled me in on some lore of the world. But if you want to know more, I'd recommend you just go play the game. It's pretty cheap on Steam, and I was having a lot of fun. After visiting the Plague Doctor Come Librarian, I wandered around the world a bit, trying to find the next path to take, until I remembered my mishap behind the Horse Sisters arena previously. With my new acid suit, I should be able to swim through that passageway now, so I climbed into the Hollow Dog again, and saw where it took me. Now I know why I needed the glowing Jew turnip. Call me an overly Hollywood Star Trek film because I was going into darkness. At first, I was having a good time, finding some more max HP. Nice. But a bit further in... Yeah, I didn't decide to hang about and find out if it slash C slash Zer just wanted to talk to me about Jesus. Instead, I opted for the American cop talking to any non-white person approach and panic fired until it stopped moving. Eventually, I came to what I think was an abandoned train station. Behind another hovering horror whore, there was what looked like a subway map here, and further down below, some train tracks. Perhaps all these crucifixion fetishists had congregated here, hoping someone would run a train on them. And if you think that was unnecessarily sexual, just keep watching because the game's gonna outdo me. These train tracks had graffiti alongside them, just like every train track in the real world. We had a nuke being dropped on a seaborne horror, an unhappy face, and a Slavic swear word. Your guess is as good as mine on the message here. Oh, and a goat's head in a pentagram and something vaguely phallic, which is honestly tame if you've ever been to a metal gig. At the end of the tracks was just a switch, which makes me wonder where the train was ever supposed to go, but I continued onwards. I'm honestly not sure what that switch ever did even now, but I continued on past the tracks to a new area, where I found something that I honestly think I'm going to have to blur. A bit further on I found another two dick creatures, and a woman on a cross again. Two spare dicks at a wedding maybe? Having had enough of the rampant sexual overtones though, I slipped headfirst into a tight dark hole. <laughs> 